Do you guys want to play a scummy ass deck that just takes people's cards and uses them against them, whether it be the Gradles themselves, Goyo Guardian, or hell, even the new Treat Toad XC card, which can be very easily made with this deck? I mean, oh my gosh, we're about to be scummy as hell up in here. Cue the intro. <laughs> Once I hit 700 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away 5 Shiny Victories booster boxes. So, if you guys are at all interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video, guys. Hey, yeah. What is bomb, people? It is your boy, Blame Page, coming at you with another video. And what you guys are watching watch today is my great old deck profile. So, hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Go ahead and smack the me. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. Down below from Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon content. I try to build daily. So hopefully you guys are down for that shit. Alright, so Gradles have a bad reputation in Yu-Gi-Oh! We get that. They're all snatch steals. They're all cards that steal your opponent's shit. Well, we're about to be scummy up in here. Why'd you click on this video if you guys didn't want to play it? I mean, let's be honest. Why, why? Why, why'd you click on it? Was it a clickbait thumbnail of Tree Toad? Because he's basically another Gradle that steals your opponent's shit. Even if it's like their spell and trap cards as, as well. I mean, Gradles don't do that. They only steal your opponent's monsters. But Tree Toad, he takes it a step higher and he steals anything. So, uh, yeah. And he's very easy to make in this deck because of this one soul card right here. A Legendary Ocean. It says that reduce the level of all water type monsters in both players' hands and on the field by one. These are all water type monsters by the level of three, except for this tuner right here. He doesn't really count. Uh, you won't really be going towards uh, Trito. But all the other cards in this deck are level three. They're all going to be level twos. This is a level two tuner that requires two aqua type monsters. All of these are aqua type monsters. You see. We're going to be making this card for days. We're going to be stealing shit for days. And we're going to be beating our opponent to hell and back for days. So, yeah, this is going to be very, very fun. The draw engine for this is amazing as well. We have Supply Squad. Every time your one of your monsters dies, you draw a card. And, well, you guys want your monsters to die to steal your opponent's shit. So, Supply Squad, OP confirmed. We also have Paw of Duality. We're not really going to be special summoning with this deck all that often. We're most likely just going to be taking shit. So, no need to worry about that. And let's run a 39 card deck, so let's run that one upstart goblin. So yeah, with all that said and done, I'm now just going to get actually into the deck profile itself. Sorry for wasting your guys' time. I just wanted to rant on about how great elves are bitches, and how we love them for that as well, and hate them for the same reason. But yeah, starting off my main deck, I'm, st <laughs> I'm playing 3 Gradle Eagle, 3 Gradle Cobra, 3 Gradle Alligator, 3 Gradle Slime Jr., he is a level 2 tuner. He's pretty beast. And then we also are playing 3 Geomancer of the Ice Barrier. And that is it for the monsters in the main deck. For spell cards, there is 3 Supply Squad, 2 Galaxy Cyclone. This is basically like an MST or a Twin Twister. You guys can shuffle in MST or Twin Twister if you guys prefer those ones instead of Galaxy Cyclone. We're playing 3 Pov Duality. 3, a Legendary Ocean. If you guys want to try some other cards that can lower the level of all your cards, though I don't really know why you guys would, because you guys can search this card out with Terraforming. You guys can also use uh, Level Lifter, as well as Level Tuning to your liking, if you guys want to, you know, not use this card, even though this card is, like, perfect for this deck. We're playing the 1 Terraforming, if you guys want more consistency in getting your a Legendary Ocean to your hand and on the field put more terraformings in, you know, put two, put three, and it might be a bit stuffy at that point, but, you know, consistency is key. We're playing two Gradle Impact, we're playing the two Rank Up Magic Astral Force, we're also playing two Salvage, as well as the one Upstart Goblin, that is it for the spell cards. For trap cards, there is Scrap Iron Scarecrow, three Rippling Mirror Force, as well as the one bottomless trap hole, and that is it for the main deck guys. A total of 15 monsters, 19 spells, and 6 traps. For extra deck cards, there is 3 Tree Chub. This is the newest uh, XC to date, and it's overpowered as hell like I just mentioned. And uh, you guys will have a lot of fun making this card, let, let me tell you that. And the artwork is amazing. I mean, what, it's a toad, and then another toad, and then like an apple, or like a... F I'm colorblind, I'm, I'm assuming that's like an orange or an apple, um, but it's pretty cool. We also have uh, number 30, Acid Golem of Destruction up in here. We got Chronomaly Crystal Chrononauts. We got Grenosaurus. We got number C69, Horology Crest of Horror. You guys can Astral Force into him with the means of Crystal Chrononauts. 
we got number 61, Volcasaurus. You guys can Astro Force via with Grenosaurus to get out of Volcasaurus, so pretty tight. For Synchros, there is one of our mates, Keeper of Illusions. We got Red Wyvern in case your opponent has something pretty dang strong and like your Goyo Guardian or something, or like you have like no Gradles. You guys can't really get over it, let's just say. So we got Red Wyvern up in here to uh, obliterate it. We are running the two Goyo Guardian because it's too good not to. We got the Gradle Dragon up in here. If you guys want to learn how to get out the level 8, all you guys have to do is basically get out uh, two Gradles plus another Gradle Slime and... Bam, level 8. So, yeah, we are doing math up in here. So, there's the Gradle Dragon. We got Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, as well as Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. And that is it for the Astro Deck guy. If you guys want to run the other, like, level 8s or whatnot, there's, like, Stardust. Uh, there's, I believe, some uh, other, you know, awesome level 8s that I just can't think of for whatever reason. I, I guess there's a bunch of uh, Red Dragon uh, Synchros as well. Uh, but yeah, these are just my three main that I'm running right now because Hot Red Dragon Archfiend is really good, Grail Dragon is really good, and Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon is amazing as well. So yeah. For Static Guards, there is the two Gradle Slime. It is a tuner. It is pretty dang okay. It allows you to go for higher uh, Synchro plays. If you guys want to play higher level ones, you guys can simply do that. You guys can go all the way up to level 11. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. We are playing the three level lifter, and then we are also playing the three level tuning, and then we're also playing the one skill drain. I didn't really test this card out before the video. Uh, I'm assuming that it may or may not work. It negates all the effects of face up monsters on the field, but Gradles activate their effects while in the graveyard. So I'm hoping that this would work, that you would be able to still take your opponent's stuff, but if it doesn't, I didn't test it out. Uh, but who knows, it may or may not work. If you guys want to try it out, just take out like a Mirror Force and slide it in and see if it works. But uh, yeah, that is it for the deck profile, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And hopefully you guys just uh, wreck some faces out there in my name. Uh, and uh, yeah, just hopefully you guys just have a blast, uh, you know, just being scummy as hell. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Adios.